Thank you and good morning. Uh, before we get started, uh, just a quick thank you to Rika and Lisa and uh, the rest of her, rest of the team at the Knowledge Exchange. Uh, once again, as always, a very, very timely topic and good attendance even uh, on, a, on a tough weather day. Uh, this session is going to really focus on relationships, uh, and in this case, uh, relationships between clients, clearing houses, and clearing members. Uh, Lisa has actually introduced the panel. I just wanted to give everybody a chance to um, talk to us a little bit about their background. So, Corey, if we could start with you and, uh, and go down. Oh, I sat down here to go last, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Corey Baisley. I am the head of OTC Financial Sales for ICE. Um, and from a relationship perspective, certainly what does that entail? I focus on selling our CDS solutions across execution, processing, and clearing, which is going to be our focus for today, as well as our OTC FX. So I spend a lot of time working with our clearing members, certain Miriam and, and your team, but largely I am connecting with the clients, so all of the buy side clients, and working with them, meeting with them, educating them on our solutions, and just generally the regulatory landscape, um, as they are key in helping us to shape our client clearing solution my role. Uh, I'm Mariam Rafi. I run the OTC clearing effort at Sydney in North America. Um, my team is responsible for providing clearing services to clients as they prepare to, for the mandatory clearing of their OTC derivatives. So basically, documentation, onboarding, connectivity to the clearing houses. Hi, I'm Jeff Bandman from uh, LCH ClearNet. I work on our uh, swap clear interest rate swap clearing business. And uh, I, I, li listening to Beckram's in introduction and talking about kind of the brothers-in-law and sisters-in-law and mothers-in-law and, and all that, I, I thought that actually might be a helpful way to explain the, the function I focus on because I think it's a little new for, for some clearinghouses and, and for LCH, which is that, you know, kind of focusing on the members and clients are obviously the, the immediate family and the direct users of our service. You know, they're, they're very critical and we value them quite highly. Uh, given, given the engagement of OTC clearing and Dodd-Frank reform, uh, it's also become a lot more uh, important for us as a clearinghouse to engage with all the, you know, kind of with, with the CEFs and consultancies and technology uh, system and service providers and fund custodians and valuation companies. And, and really, I, I lead an effort to engage much more directly uh, with, with all of those other market participants to figure out you know, how can we work together, whether through formal relationships or information in, information sharing and kind of how much time to spend with each, each member of this distant family and then explaining to the other people within my family who, who it's, you know, who really the, the key brothers-in-laws and aunts and uncles are. My name is Sonella Hardzik and I'm a managing director in charge of clearing at Calypso. Calypso provides technology to both um, clearing houses as well as um, you know, member banks to essentially enable clearing to function in this uh, brothers and sisters ecosystem, if you'd like, in this family. So we work with six of the world's global sort of clearing houses and provide technology for OTC clearing of rates and credit, as well as FX, and then also mirror those services for the uh, banking community, both on the FCM and the SCM side of the world, as well as now, more recently, to the buy side, who is catching on to the wave of implementations. Thank you very much. So this first question we're actually going to pose to uh, to the entire panel. Everybody will have a chance to respond. Uh, if you if looking up here, you'll notice that this uh, this group gives us a nice cross cut of the players in the space, uh, so to speak. Um, if each one of you could kind of uh, highlight some of the changes that you see facing the marketplace, uh, how are you working with your clients to prepare for that change? Um, have you yourselves had to alter strategy? Um, you know, what are you doing around product development? And I guess in the end, do you see this as an opportunity to deepen your relationship with your clients and offer better services? And if so, how? So whoever uh, would like to start. Oh, so uh, me again. Um, so, uh, so absolutely has impact. I mean, just Dodd-Frank generally. I think across the board we can all say that it has impacted our businesses. I mean, ICE has, you know, OTC markets. We've got uh, our futures exchanges, and it's anywhere from execution all the way through to um, 